Right. Well, I've uh, I've dropped some materials. What could uh, what could possibly go wrong? I'm sure we could get this. Ah. Ah. Uh, where did it go? Oh, I went over it. Ow. Okay. We might need to build a ladder. Greetings, adventurers. It is I, Les Grumblays. Look at this beautiful scene we've got here. The night sky. Beautiful. The clouds, the stars. Looks amazing here in the desert. Uh, but anyway, we have got some more satisfactory lined up for you. And uh, hopefully a bit more of a full episode this week. We shall see. Uh, we're on the verge of unlocking our train transport. Uh, and I was thinking, you know, it's about time... For all this uh, fuss and nonsense and all this uh, production and whatnot we got sidetracked with, that we start building the town proper, uh, which means we're going over into that area over there in the desert beyond uh, the looking glass over there towards the tree and whatnot. Uh, and uh, yeah, maybe some train transport could be fun, but that means we need a train station. So uh, yeah, let's get a chainsaw out. That'll do it. Uh, let's go unlock uh, train transport and uh, crack on shall we all right we popped over here to the basic steel factory we grabbed a whole bunch of motors and uh we're on our way back to unlock the trains we've got a sun up coming over the desert amazing and uh we're driving the old reckless mobile <laughs> nothing to do with ready let's just see how dangerous. I already fell off the road once on the way there. Unfortunately, I wasn't recording that bit. Otherwise, that would have made the blooper reel for sure. Alright, here we go. Still got to sort these power lines out at some point. When's that going to happen? Never. Okay. Let's go. Monorails, here we come. Ah, uh, whoop! Let's go. We haven't looked at one of these for a while. Trains are excellent for efficiently moving vast quantities of parts. Oh, yeah. Train logistics can be made more precise and complex with tools found in the railway signaling milestone. Let's I listen go. to all my pioneers, often when they're not even aware of it. So <laughs> due to popular demand, I have added a motivational message. Choo-choo mother Wow. Unbelievable. Choo-choo mother Unbelievable. How rude, Amy. All right, that's trains unlocked. Goodness knows what we'll get up to next. Are there even any more? Oh, there are. Train signaling, I guess that has to be the next one. That needs the computers, though. That means we are enforced to go into uh, uh, manufacturing. Yes, okay, fine. So we need train stations, some sort of train station build, and some sort of manufacturing uh, factory. All right. Time to go over there and have a think about the layout. Back soon. Boop. All right, I have made a start on my next brutalist construction. And now what we need to do is we need to build our first ever uh, railway station uh, so that we can check dimensions and things because I had a little look before very briefly and boy, it's a whopper. So uh, let's see train station now i know we're gonna to have to extend it with various platforms and things but look at this what a what a monster that is so we want to go somewhat central so i've widened this thing up already once we'll put that there and let's see what that gives us that gives us a half and a one two okay so this is one two three four five across with a half and half like that and then one and a half like okay that's perfect i think that's going to be good so we're going to just plump that down for now, we're not going to do anything with the trains. I will definitely record that when we're good and ready. Oh look, squid the. Okay, scud the. Skull. Um, yeah. So this is kind of amazeballs, actually. Don't get distracted. Stay on target. Build the station. Um, but look, this was the height that I was planning to build to, and as you can see already, that would be a failure. So we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to uh, raise this up a bit more than I was thinking, and uh, yeah, groovy. So good job we uh, good job we checked that. 
All right, let's go onwards and quite literally upwards. Whoops. Uh-oh. Full pockets is... All right. Back in a jiffy. All righty. We have our very first Viva Las Vegas train station. Viva Las Vegas Central. Ah, oh, yeah. And the, the, the sooner the trains are up and running, the safer it'll be for every pioneer around here. <laughs> I need to just work out uh, where I'm going to run the roads to connect because I got the Caterium uh, automated path just uh, just over here. So that's a bit funky when that truck comes through town. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's uh, let's just uh, have a look upstairs, shall we? Briefly. All right, we'll smarten all this up on well, someday, maybe. Uh, but yeah, I built it in the uh, in the brutalist style again. I have this walkway, half a platform wide, uh, that we can go along the side there. In here, I have chosen the color scheme, with red and red and gold kind of thing, for the uh, for the trains. Uh, I've got two freight thingies. I have no idea. We've not done anything with that yet. I built a little bit of track just to uh, run it out there a little bit. Viva Las Vegas Central, baby. Yeah, let's go. Viva Las Vegas. Let's go. So yeah, this is uh, just the beginnings. Obviously, we need to decorate and whatnot. Put some lighting and things up. Some boxes around, make it look like it's uh, traversable by uh, pioneers and things. Uh, but yeah, it's. Uh, I've got these... Um, quarter pipe type uh, arrangements here on the outside of the rear pillars and then in the middle a more traditional straight block with a few adornments to give it a bit of a uh, bit of shape and i found out a really interesting thing the uh, quarter pipe foundations the top parts and these bits they fit together it's a bit fiddly but you can get it done uh the bottom parts uh don't attach to these middle sections at all all the top sections i tried both so I don't know if it's just me or it's a bug or whatever, but these do not attach to the rest of that. So what I had to do was build the square foundations underneath. So I ran a line from the top down. I built the squares underneath roughly where I was going to put these feet. And then I put the feet down and then connected it all up. So it was a little bit of uh, jiggery pokery, as they say, but we got it done in the end. On the other side, same kind of deal. I can see some of my building, some of my scaffolding that I've used to put some of the adornments on. Uh, I've gone with these little uh, inverted wall pieces to make this uh, a little bit softer and give it some kind of nice colouring and actually uh, uh, edging rather. And I was thinking about uh, painting this up slightly different colours. I might even switch out and use some of the metal uh, forms, uh, but we'll see for now. Uh, that's what we've got. We've got our very first train station. No trains in it yet. Uh, but anyway, progress, folks. Progress. Let's go. Alrighty. I have added a couple more adornments. Uh, and done a little bit of painting. And I think for uh, version one, for now, it's our first uh, train station. Uh, I have plenty of ideas for uh, pimping my ride, pimping my rail. Uh, but <laughs> I need some time to process and think about uh, what we're doing here and where we want to go with the rest of the building. Uh, but I wanted to make sure that my satisfactory uh, enjoyers got a little bit more uh, satisfaction this week. Might be another short and sweet. We'll do a little bit of cinematic afterwards. Bit of a flyby kind of thing. And uh, yeah, that'll round off this week's episode. Uh, yeah, let me know again what you think. Uh, enjoying the brutalism builds uh, and uh, design ideas, uh, a little bit of coloration and uh, lighting things up. And uh, yeah, let me know what uh, how how it's progressing from your point of view. Really need that feedback. Uh, and uh, yeah, good vibes, everybody. Thanks very much. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you did enjoy it. Mm -hmm.